I'm an engineer. And I have here in my pocket the key to a 20 to 40% increase in your office productivity. <laughs> I can see you all believe me straight away, yeah. And I see you also think an engineer, hmm, probably a battery terminal goes on here and another one goes on there, and then apply it to a sensitive body part. <laughs> Instant 20%, 40% faster. But no, actually, this is a much kinder and gentler key than that. And in fact, it's the label for my office plant. This is the plant from my office, and I'm going to leave that label there with it. Well, I explain to you that over the next 15 minutes or so, I'm going to tell you the story of this plant and my own interaction, but in particular, how my attitude to office plants has done a complete U-turn. My uh, wife and I, we own a small engineering business, about 12 staff. Suzanne looks after the well-being of the staff and the, also the, the general environment. And I look after the sales and the engineering. So she came to me and said, uh, Michael, I've got an idea. I think we should give every person in the office an office plant for their desk. Every office, every desk needs an office plant. Now, I knew immediately that Suzanne's vision was a green swath of plants and happy stuff. My vision had much more tinges of brown and wasted space. But husbands, I'm sure you all know that when your wife comes to you with an idea prefaced by your given name, there's only one correct answer. Yes, dear. So that particular yes, dear moment cost a few hundred dollars. You see, what I didn't know was that we were going to be needing about 20 of these plants and we're going to need pots and all these other fancy things. So in the process of creating all those pots and other such things, quite a lot of money. And what really struck me, actually only struck me a few, a few days later, in fact, quite a bit later, when I noticed that the average staff member would probably spend about five minutes a day either looking after the plant or perhaps uh, admiring it. <laughs> and those five minutes, you know, you can do the math pretty quickly, I'm sure. Five years, 245 days a year, 12 staff, five minutes, Six and a half weeks. Whoa. This is an expensive operation. I never even occurred to me. But, you know, yes, dear moments, that's how it goes. Now, I never really thought about it much very much. But actually, before I even tell you about that, I should say, you're probably wondering a little bit more about where those five minutes came from. Now, these five minutes came because these weren't regular plants. These were personal plants. Each person, and, and the way it worked was, Suzanne went and got about 20 plants, put them on the board table, and then said to the staff, OK, come, I want you to choose a plant from the perspective of the plant. <laughs> yeah, I see some of you spotted immediately. That's a fairly radical, you, this one's over here, didn't get it. From the perspective of the plant. <laughs> So you had to put yourself in the pot of the plant, as it were, and say, which person, which person do I want to be my new friend? And then, once they'd done that, they got a, a label like this, and on that label they wrote, my friend is, and then their name. In this case, this is mine. My friend is Mike. So I put that in my plant, and here's my buddy, my friend. We were mates. We're from New Zealand. And being mates, in fact, has turned out to make, as Stephen Frost would say, all the difference. I didn't really think about all the difference for quite a long time. In fact, about four and a half years. When business had been going really well, actually, great. And we needed a new office and we needed some new staff. And the question came up, well, OK. Do we get office plants for the new staff? 
bit of a decision, really, isn't it? I don't have the faintest idea what to do. <laughs> Ignorance is like that. Anyway, I thought, well, how am I going to find out? So my first thought was, well, I'll ask my wife. <laughs> and she immediately said, yes. This time I was cunning and I said, OK, I'm going to ask the staff as well. And they all said yes. They said, yeah, we like having the plants. They're sort of friendly on the desk there and we feel good about it. Why don't we carry on? I thought, OK. Still worried, eh? Still worried. You see, I've been in Canada a wee bit, the A, but anyway. 20 plants. And then I thought, hmm, what do we do about it? So the thought was, perhaps I should ask Google. <laughs> you see, when I did my own mathematics, I reckoned that we might be doing about 30% more business per staff, but there's a whole lot of other things that had gone on. And so I didn't really know for sure. So anyway, ask Google. So my first thought was, well, OK, maybe Google's got something or other about air cleaning and that sort of stuff. So I Googled away and came up with a whole lot of articles about people who had got a lot of plants in their office and had better air quality. But then I realised that our situation looked a little bit like this. But the situation they were talking about, like one of them was in fact a TED talk, and he was talking about eight plants per person and each plant was three foot high. Like, whoa! So I said, no, nah, this is not us. I was getting a bit despondent at this stage, but anyway, I carried on and I thought, well, what else can I find? Until suddenly, I had that hallelujah moment because I found this. Now, I don't expect you to be able to read that, but what it is is a whole lot of articles about productivity in the office. Heaps of them. And it very quickly led to even better a collection of research papers by learned, scientific, properly, statistically based research. Now, I just typed out a very small list here, you know, only a handful, but in fact, there's hundreds of them, really, hundreds. So rather than just sorting out the people with a degree in statistics, let's carry on a little bit and pick up just one. Just one. Now, this is a particular study was a nice, easy one to understand. It's the benefit of green versus lean. So this is the lean office. What they did was they got about 20 or 30 people and they gave them this desk. And what the desk had was just some paper on it and a computer. And then they had to sort the pages into alphabetical order. And then after that sorted them, they had to do a few other little bits and pieces. And then they timed how long it took them and how many mistakes they made. That all makes sense? Yes, not if you understand, it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> this is the green desk. Where, yeah, exactly. They took the exact same desk and they just smooshed a whole lot of plants. Like, yeah, out these. Now, of course, now the desk is only half the size because the rest of it's used up with plants, right here. And gave them the same task to do. Sort those pages into order, confirm a few other little bits and pieces. OK, I wouldn't be standing here if the green one wasn't better. You can see this coming up. So here's what happened. Mistakes in the lean disk, X. Mistakes in the, in the green disk, also X. Identical number of mistakes. Half the disk, but identical number of mistakes. Hmm. Speed in the green disk was 23% faster. 23% for some poor schmuck that's got all these plants there stuck in front of him and half the desk and that he's working faster. Wow. Maybe my wife was smarter than I thought. <laughs> so then I carried on looking for the research because I get quite excited at this moment as you might imagine. And there's just heaps and heaps of studies, but rather than give them all to you just immediately, what I did was I just put them on a scrolling thing, and you can see that creativity goes up, that people are happier at work, that they work faster, that they're more efficient, that they're less angry, that they're enjoying their time at work better, there's less absenteeism, and that fatigue dropped by 38%. Fatigue for having plants on your desk? Wow. 
Now you can imagine why some of this is like, whoa, this is amazing. So I went away and told my friends here and told my friends here. Conversations went like, hey, how's the weather going today? Have you heard about plants on your desk? <laughs> and sooner or later, my friends sort of got ready for this. They said, no, Mike, we're not talking about plants today. <laughs> but the end result was that I started thinking about it. How many people have heard about this? Like, perhaps you guys here. How many people have heard about the benefits of plants on your desk? I see one nod. I see a few, few hands. Good deal. Okay, here's an even more crunchy question. How many people have got plants on their desk or within reaching distance in their office? Okay, I'm seeing about maybe 25%, which is better than the average. Better than the average. Consider yourself an enlightened group. <laughs> You see, the big companies are doing it. This is Amazon right here. Five stories high, 800 staff, and wait for it, 40,000 plants. 50 plants a person. <sighs> that is just crazy. But do you know why they did it? They said that the, the, an Amazon spokesperson said he wanted to help their staff get back to nature. Now that's sort of interesting really because it lines up a little bit with some of the research that I was discovering. And what that research said was that wired, hardwired into our DNA is the possibility that when we're in a leafy environment, our stress levels go down, our levels of cooperation go up. And our DNA. Makes sense. Okay. So then I decided there must be then some really good reasons why people aren't doing this. Because in my impromptu surveys, I found about maybe one in five, maybe even one in six. And this was the list of problems that they came up with. The first one was the profit and loss, the cost. They'd seen the Amazon thing. But you know all those studies that we saw there? Most of those didn't have huge numbers of plants. Most of those just had a smashed on the desk, just a handful of plants. And of course we know the cost, five minutes a day, plus 20 bucks and stuff. And we know the benefit, at least 20%. Would you give me 20%? Yeah. So 20%, eight hours a day, that's like 90 free minutes a day that you get just from having a friend on your desk. Interesting thought, really, isn't it? So when I laid that out to my friends, I said, yeah, okay, costs and benefits, it does make sense. So if this is what we have, let's answer the rest of their problems from the perspective of these personal plants. So the very first one I want to look at is dead plants. This is one of my concerns. 20 plants, five years. Have a guess how many plants died in our office over that time? If I'm hearing some people say none, then pat yourself on the back. Perfect, nada, nilts, none. Now why is that? It's because these are our friends. Now, when you've just got a bunch of plants sitting there in your, in your office and, and they're looking a bit off, you say, ah, no, the plant people will be here in another month. We'll let them deal with it. But hey, when my friend's looking a bit peaky, when they're drooping a little bit, or maybe a sort of some insect on it or something like that, then I go and ask Suzanne, I said, hey, Plant's not looking so good today. And she helps us. And that happened all the way across our office. No dead plants, because this is your friend and you care about your friend. It made quite the difference. Now space, this was fascinating. My desk is like most people's desk, fairly messy. But as soon as I put a plant on it, I feel motivated to tidy it up just a little bit. <laughs> Why? to show off the plant. <laughs> and actually, I'm not smart enough to figure that out myself. I only realized it after I read it in one of those research papers and discovered, yeah, I'd done exactly the same thing. So sometimes you need to read about yourself to figure out what you've actually been doing. But that's the case. 
People get more space when they put a plant on the desk because they tend to keep it tidier. And then the last one is acceptance. Now, some of my, uh, some of my pen friends that I was talking about said, hey, surely your, your people don't want to have a plant. It's sort of something a little bit, uh, it's not real man thing, you know. Well, all I can say is, is here's some photographs of the people in my office now. And they're all proud to have a plant. They're all happy to have their plant. And in fact, they're all pleased to have their photograph on, in, in this thing. They said, hey, you're going to be on TV. Can you handle that? I said, sure, we'll do it. But you know what? Our office is a more contented place. Our office is a relaxed place and a place that, that I'm, I'm, I'm proud to be, a, to be a part of. And a big part of that is the personal plant thing. <laughs> yeah. So if this is our office today, then we've sort of got to the stage where if this was an infomercial, I'd say... But wait, there's more. <laughs> and I should actually say, before we go out into the more, and there is more, I'm not selling plants. My business has nothing to do with plants. <laughs> You've probably figured that out by now already. <laughs> but it just seemed like such a cool idea. I thought, hey, what a good thing to share. So what are those more things? Three things particularly related to the personal plant. Thing number one, cost. Turns out that one of those studies, and those hundreds of studies, measured the benefit from having several plants and, and productivity and the productivity benefit of having one plant. It's a straight line. Interesting, isn't it? So how much better if that one plant is your personal plant? Even better. So that was cost. Thing number two, 20%. 20% is the benefit that you get simply by letting people decorate their own offices. That's amazing, isn't it? 20%. But if they're going to decorate their office, what better decoration than letting them have their own plant to start it with? 20%. The third one is pets. Some of you, I'm sure, have heard of bring a pet to work, you know, bring a dog to work, something like that. You've heard of that, yeah? And how it reduces stress, how it increases cooperation within the office, how blood pressure tends to go down, apart from when the pet misbehaves. I'd like to introduce you to the perfect pet, Stay. <laughs> See how well they trained they are? It just makes sense. Let people have their office plant as a personal plant. So at this point, it would be good to ask you, how many people here are ready to go out and get an office plant for themselves? Excellent, excellent, thank you. Well, in the spirit of sharing, I have for you a gift. We'll call it a personal plant starter kit. And there'll be a person at the door when you leave here for lunch to, to hand them all out. And in return, this is all I ask. That the next time when that plant is sitting on your desk and someone comes and says, hey, what are you doing with a plant on your desk here? Then look at them and with the most peaceful look in your eyes and say, oh, this is so much more than just decoration. This is a personal plant. And don't you know, Every desk needs a personal plant. Thank you. <laughs>